again, everyone, and welcome once more to ABL Basketball here on Star Hub as we bring you a regular season game between the visiting Westport Malaysian Dragons of the hometown Singapore Slingers from right here at the OCBC Arena, the Lion City of Singapore. As you look at all the vendors and the people trotting by to see what their wares are about and uh, confirmation of our game today here at the OCBC Arena. The third place, Singapore Slingers at 11-7 going against the 6-11 Westport Malaysian Dragons as we look at the team standings in the league. San Miguel, a lot Pilipinas. Well, they're leading the way. Untouchable at the moment. It's 16 and 3 for most of Dreamers at 12 and 6. Right on their heels, Singapore Singers 11 7, followed by Saigon, Macau, Hong Kong Eastern, and the CLS Knights from Indonesia. There are the Westport Malaysia Dragons precariously holding on to that eighth and final playoff position, followed by the Mono Vampire Basketball Club and to the rear of the Wolf Warriors at 2 and 17. Hello, everybody. Chuck Schreiner and Scotty McKinnon. We look at the referees that will be controlling action today. Mr. Chan, Mr. Shin, and Mr. Kanapoina from India. That's the first. We haven't had any Indian referees lately. As we look at the players on the court, the visiting, that is Eversley right there, visiting the Westport Malaysian Dragons. And uh, Eversley is a man that stirs the, the, stirs the drink for Malaysia, averaging over 22 points a game. There is Coach Perlman. And uh, he is in charge of a very young but uh, Pretty talented team if they can ever get their act together. They have lost a few close games. We'll talk more about that later. Coach Perlman, a coach of the year in New Zealand and in Australia, the Queenstown Basketball League, where he toiled a couple years ago. He finally gets uh, a chance to spread his wings, so to speak, in Asia. And uh, he will be drawing up the X and O's for the Westport Malaysian Dragons. We look at the bench of the Singapore Singers, John Fields. He has been the man the last two or three games. Averaging over 28 points a game and 14 rebounds. That's what he, the numbers he put up in the last game on Friday night against Malaysia. So they will be looking to dominate inside. His counterpart, uh, Nanu Egwu, 6'11", 250, a NCAA player at the University of Illinois from 2011 to 2015. Big 10 all-defensive team. And that was back in 2015 as a senior. So he has been around. He's also played basketball in Cairns. That is a connection with him and Coach Perlman in uh, Australia. Also played in the G League and in New Zealand also, and he left, of course, in 2018 for Malaysia. There is Winston Shepard, 6'8", 210, the really thin postman, low po or high postman, 25 years of age. As we get ready to announce the players on both sides of the field, of, of the court. Uh, first, the visiting Westport Malaysian Dragons. There is Winston Shepard right there. He's been averaging 20.6 game, uh, points a game, 11.2 boards, 5.2 assists. And we'll be seeing them. There he is right there. He'll be one of the starters today for Westport Malaysian Dragons in red. Right beside him will be Wei Erchiong, more of a role player, 6'1", 175 pound guard. Also Benjamin Sim. Another guard and uh, Jonathan Wong, a Singapore native actually, and he has a Malaysian mother, so he applies his trade in Malaysia. Number 13, Chin Cheng, six foot guard. There is number 32, we were talking about Nana Egwu, 6'11, 250 pounds, averaging 13 points a game and 7.8 boards. There is Chris Eversley, we talked about him, played his college ball at Rice and Cal Poly. Also in Belgium in 2015-16, in Germany as well. And the Singapore Slinger is getting ready to come out onto the floor now. Good looking crowd starting to develop here as usual. Singapore fans fashionably late here at the OCPC Arena. And there is number one, Jun Lim, a role player, 21 years of age. They have big hopes for him. He's a defensive specialist, 5'8", 172 pounds. We'll get some playing time. Desmond O, of course, he will be a starter, but going down like Tate Din Moon, 24-year-old, 6'3", 183 pounds. He's also a guard, Larry Liu, the veteran. 25 years of age. Hung Han Bin, he won't get a start today, but he has been an integral part of the Slingers the last few years. He is 27 years of age. Kelvin Lim, 22-year-old, 6'3", 173 pounds, averaging 1.5 points a game. Russell Lowe, number 32, one of the low post, high post players, swing man, 6'5", 231 pounds. More than likely get 12 to 15 minutes. And there's a the youngster on the team, Lavin Raj, 18 years of age, 6'7", 306 pounds, forward slash center. 
will get some playing time should uh, situation allow. Here are the starters for the Singapore Slingers. Number two, Desmond Owe. He's been with the team from the inception. 5'8", 169 pounds. John Fields, we just talked about him. What a last three or four games he's had for the Slingers. Jaron Young, up and down year for him, but uh, right around 17 points a game. He is very dangerous in the open court. You've got to put a hand in his face, and here's the guy that gets it going for the Slingers. Xavier Alexander, number 15, is fourth here with the Singapore Slingers. One of the best players in the league, averaging over 22 points a game. Here's Delvin Go, 23-year-old, 6'7", 202 pounds, averaging 8 points, 3 points a game, and 8 rebounds per game. So those are starting five for the Singapore Slingers. And uh, Scotty, uh, on November 23rd, we did a game where the Slingers ran rough shot over Malaysia, uh, 103 to 47, but uh, only 11-point winners the other night in Malaysia. So. We uh, will talk more about that later. And uh, the interviews with uh, some of the players and coaches before the game. Let's see what Coach Yo and company had to say a few minutes ago. Well, I mean, it's, uh, I think basically everybody clicked together and uh, played together as a team, whether it's up and down. So that's basically uh, help us as well. Uh, their size, their pace, their athleticism. Um, you know, whenever they. You know, whenever they get into tight games, you know, the games I've watched, they find another gear. You know, they start pushing the ball harder, very aggressive in offensive transition, and incredibly tough to stop. So, you know, that's the thing. So you might think you're in a game, and then all of a sudden they have this other next gear they go to. So we have to be ready for that, and we have to be ready to counter that extra gear that they go to when they really have to. I mean, these games, these games are about uh, really about us, and uh, to see if we can have that uh, killer mentality to go on into the playoffs and make some noise. So we got we got to win this one's the game that we're supposed to win. Yeah, definitely we are ready for that. And uh, game by game, you know, we just focus on what we're supposed to do today. And uh, basically, we want to defend the cup. And the most important, we want to get ourselves up uh, in the top four. Uh, I mean, in the regular season. Well, so some comments uh, about the upcoming game and the season so far for the Slingers and the Westport Malaysian Dragons. And Scotty, uh, starting five for the Malaysian Dragons. Yeah, Malaysia is, is a tremendously talented team. They just haven't found it this year offensively, only averaging 73 points per game. Uh, they have a tremendous amount of pedigree as far as Shepard, Egwu, Eversley, and Wong, and they should be able to put the ball in more than they do, and we'll see if they can do that today in this game. On the other side of the ball, Singapore Singers, a familiar lineup for those of you that follow the Singers. It'll be Young, O, Alexander, Go, and Fields. Delvin Go getting uh, another start today along with Desmond O. Oh, he has really proved his medal. A couple of games uh, Go and Desmond O. Oh, have both put up double figures, so pleasant surprise for the Slingers, especially when you talk about the local players. Previous game, we said before, uh, Slingers coming out on top, 87-76. John Fields dominating down on the low blocks. There he is again, C4 in the white jersey, getting around Egu for two of his 28 points. There he is again, and he can do it from inside and out. There he is wrestling, getting that nice little jab step in the face of Egu. Here he is, he can do it away from the basket as well. So 28 points for John Fields. They'll look for more of the same as Scotty. As we look at the matchups between Fields and Egwu. Yeah, and you said it, Chuck. The key to the Slinger success is, is playing inside out. Going through John Fields in the half court in the, in the through the post, and then beating them down the floor in transition and getting uncontested layups and dunks that way. Uh, Singapore's at their best when they're running and when they're attacking the rim from the inside, consistently getting good uh, percentage shots. They out they outscored uh, Malaysia 60 to 36 in the paint. A lot of that was nice looks uh, for Fields as we saw, and also dribble penetration by not only Jaron Young but uh, the X Man Xavier Alexander too. As we look at the black uniforms, a special day for the Singapore Singers. It is the second game of the Straits Cup, a home and away series. Uh, usually played on some random weekend during the season. This happens to be that weekend, Singapore. Going away with that 87-76 win, if they were to win today or even lose by 10 or less, they would own the cup for the second consecutive season. So good luck to the Slingers, hoping that they can repeat with the uh, straight cup yeah. by some touch during the season for the Slingers, and that is the reason why they're wearing those black jerseys. Also a charity event that we'll talk about a little bit later. So John Fields getting ready to jump it up against Egwu here at OCBC Arena. As we said before, Scott McKinnon, Chuck Schreiner, so happy you could spend part of your Sunday afternoon with us. So the fans are ready, the refs are ready, we're ready here. I know you're ready at home, so let's do it. Tip off controlled by the Dragons. They'll be coming at you in the red jerseys coming from left to right. Shepard with the ball. Getting around one defender. 
Wide open look. Number 32, Egwu, is off the mark. Offensive board, Sheffer chasing it down. Eversley, baseline, nice little move by him on the shot on that baseline. So 2 nothing in favor of the Dragons to start it off, Scotty. Nice little float from Eversley there. Goes to his left, comes back with the touch, sends it over top of the big man. 2-0 start for the Dragons. Pass inside is taken away. Nice job by Fields, hustling for the ball. Second chance, oh, and up and in. You said it right there, Chuck. There's John Fields on the post again with the jump hook and the rebound. Continue to attack through him. That is when the singers are successful. Dragons on that left hand side, number 13, Chin Chang, the six footer. Getting the ball off, cross court pass to Eversley. Eversley gives it up, applies the screen. Yak. Right down the gut, around the free throw, goes glass. So 4-2 in favor of the Dragons. Don't have the scoreboard working at the moment, but 4-2 in favor of the Dragons over the Slingers early on. Pass into the interior, fields again. Bumping, grinding, two-handed runner there across the lane. No good, Everly comes around with the board. Quickly down the court, oh boy, losing the thread there, and a foul, I think. And you can see the adjustment already, Chuck, from Perlman. Sending the double early on uh, John Field. Sending it from the middle, so he has to either do that sweeping jump hook or kick it out. Good adjustment by Perlman to start. And there's the kick there by Jaron Young. So Malaysia will have it. We'll take it out on the near sideline here. In uh, Malaysia with that 6-11 and 11 record, holding on for dear life for that eighth and final playoff position. Nice little turnaround jumper there by Nanu Egwu. He said toiled out of the NCAA at Illinois for four years, 2011 to 2015. The kick fired up by number 17 for the Slingers is off the mark. Check that. That was a foul. Not the kind of energy that the Slingers want to start the game. Going down 6-2. That doesn't look like they have the same bounce in their steps that they usually have. Yeah, they played on Friday night. There's Alexander trying to clear off some space and knocked away. Good job there by Eversley. The Slingers will take it out on their own baseline. Bounce pass inside. Nice job by Fields to check that. Yes, it was John Fields. So finding just a smudging of space, putting the ball on the floor. A nice little base on the bounce player there. Delvin goes, uh, screens the bottom of the zone, and John Field steps into space to the rim. Kick back outside by Shepard. Off to number 26. That's Yek with the long three. Is off the mark. Some pushing underneath. See who that goes against. That might be against Jaron Young, number 12. So he gets his first foul of the game. First team foul for Singapore. Good look at Perlman there. What a job he did in Australia and New Zealand. Two times coach of the year. Once in the Queensland League, and another time in New Zealand. It's a wasted opportunity there for the Dragons. Back comes Desmond O. Young thought about it. Just crosses in the lane. Little runner is good. So that will tie it up at six. Jaron Young, his first bucket of the game, Scott. And there's the Slingers getting out in transition. The secondary break kick out to Young, and he gets a nice attack going to his right hand. He's very right hand dominant. Great finishing going that way. Shepard. And Edward, that same move, trying to apply on fields. Shepard again, hesitation move, fall back jumper is going to be off the mark. Stein to the board, it's Delvin Go. He comes up with it. He'll take it all the way home by himself. A little spin move is no good on the finger roll. Eversley, a little catch and shoot from three is no good. Young pulls down the board. Long outlet pass by Young. Fields, he is held up and he will be fouled. No basket for the shot. There goes the Slingers again in transition. This is the type of tempo that they love. They love to get up and down. They love to move, and it's a really good thing when they are doing this. Watch it again, Fields, and here comes a weak side help, and Eversley finding the mismatch initially with uh, Chin Chang. Look at Coach Jamie Perlman. He said uh, Australia, New Zealand. In fact, he played nine years in Australia in the NBL. Yeah, great point, Chuck. Not, a very, not only a very good coach, but a fantastic professional. Nine-year career there in the, in the NBL. Young, cross court to Alexander. Alexander step up from the elbow, and he is fouled as he goes up. So he will go to the line for a pair. I think you're right with the energy on both these teams. Of course, they just saw each other on Friday night, so a real quick turnaround. We'll probably have to wait a little bit for 
the energy to get pumped up, but there's a pull-up jumper by Alexander. A little bit long, but he's fouled on the way. Alexander has been very good at the free throw line the last couple of games, Scott. He was 11 for 11 the other night against Malaysia. And you, you said it, Chuck, that earlier in the year, the Slingers had a very big issue from the 3 throw line. The last few games on this 4-1 four, four stretch, they have been fantastic shooting from the 3 throw line consistently and confidently, and this has led to their success. So 13 in a row the last couple of games for Alexander. Here's the trap. Getting away with it. Slingers come back on the steal. Nice trail, and they foul. And Chuck, you said it. The energy wasn't where the Slingers wanted it. A great adjustment from Neo and Johnson to drop into that 1-3-1 one, one trap to get the tempo going faster and to look to jump into the passing lanes and get some steals. There's Alexander spotting it peripherally. Fields on the trail. Foul will go on Winston Shepard, I believe. No, they're going to give it to Chi, Chin, excuse me, number 13. Nice little drop pass there between the legs from uh, Xavier Alexander. Very good vision to see Fields trailing the play. Fields missed the first of two. He's usually been their most reliable free throw shooter, right around 74% for the year. One of two, so Singapore with a three-point lead. He just joined us. And two of the straights cup. Eversley gets away from one defender. Now over to Tan. Tan slips through two defenders. Eversley, little jump step. Nice job, but can't get it to fall. Rebound by Young. Back on the slingers. Ball in the hands of Alexander. Scoops through. Got Young up top. He'll give it to him. Slides it off to O. Inside it goes to Fields. Oh, boy. Fields wasn't expecting that. Great heads up play to get the ball into the interior, but Fields not expecting it, Scotty. Oh, Delvin Goth, great touch there in the high low lob. Throws it over top of the front end defender. All Fields had to do was catch it to put it in there. And he just had a little bit of trouble, got ahead of himself, saw the rim before he saw the ball. Turnover for the Slingers. Shepard down. Goes up top. Off the Egu with the fake. Now Shepard again. All alone. Downstairs they go. Egu corrals it, turns and fires. Can't get it to fall. Rebound by Alexander. His first rebound of the game. Now Fields again looking for cutters. Back outside to Young. Not a lot of movement on the offense by Singapore. Ten on the shot clock. Alexander's going to freelance underneath. He goes. Good control in the air. Off the glass. Up and in. Getting that interior position, Scotty. Yeah, and there's Xavier Alexander's body control again when he gets to the rim. He's so good at squaring his shoulders to the backboard, getting parallel and going up and finishing over top of the defender. Shepard off to the right into the hands of Tan. Knock away. Singapore leading the league in block shots, 4.4 per game. Yeah, and Jaron Young for his position is, is tremendous at getting up there and challenging shots and blocking them. Averaging almost two a game, and that's unheard of for his position at the three. Nice job by Chen initially to get away from Delvin go, but weak side help very alertly played by Young. Long three off the mark by Winston Shepard. Back comes Singapore, Young on the dribble off to Alexander. Looking inside to Fields, Egu and him, what a battle they've got going on. Tipped away on the floor, picked up by Desmond O. He immediately throws it away. Taken by Jonathan Wong. Downstairs it goes to Shepard. Shepard blocked from behind. They're going to say it's a foul. I thought that was clean from Delvin Go there. He just didn't have the position, and that's why the official called the foul there. Thank you. But when we see it again, there might be some contact with the body. Delvin Go, great timing by him. Up he goes. Oh boy, that is a close call. The referees say there was indeed contact. So timeout by Singapore, 4.28 to go. And uh, according to game plan right now, Singapore with that five point lead, uh, Scotty, and doing what they did on Friday night, attacking the rim at every opportunity that they get. Well, you can tell, Chuck, they think they have an advantage on the inside there. Every single possession in the half court feels is getting a touch on Egu. And he's either scoring or they're having to send the double early, which means that they're getting uncontested shots or long closeouts, which they can attack off the dribble. From the Westport Malaysia side, again, 3 of 12 shooting right now. And it's amazing considering they have Winston Shepard, a five-star recruit out of Finley Prep. Uh, Egwu, who's, who was a Big Ten All-Defensive player. Jonathan Wong, Chris Eversley, who's a big West Championship game MVP. I, I just don't understand how these guys are having trouble consistently scoring with that kind of talent on their roster. And Eversley was 5 of 15 the other night uh, in a 14-point performance, 5 below his season average of 18.6. So 
obvious that they're going to have to attack the rim a little bit more often. Uh, their shots are not going to go in for him. And Perlman letting him have it right now on the bench, as you can see. We had the interview with him before the game. We were answer, asking questions, you know, what, what's the most challenging thing about uh, coaching a young team? And it's just consistency, not able to get the same amount of energy as we were talking about earlier, the same type of execution that you get when you have veteran players who've uh, been around the block a time or two. So that's the challenge with Jamie Perlman at the moment is Malaysia's holding on for dear life for that last playoff position. Mono Vampires last year's finals breathing down their neck. So Shepard hits the first of two. Yeah, and Shepard was a very good player. Five-star recruit out of Finley Prep, which is a, a, a high school, a preparatory high school that alumni can include Tristan Thompson, Corey Joseph, Avery Bradley, Kelly Obrey Jr., all talented NBA players. He was a big recruit going to San Diego State, so it shows the quality of the league and the import that we get here now at the ABL now. Absolutely. He's already played in Hungary, Israel. So Young, running the offense at the moment, accelerates in the lane, gets through the rim. And getting right around Egwu, so they are attacking Egwu early and often so far, Scotty. Yeah, and Jaron Young with that right hand, he's, he's unstoppable once he gets there. Every time he gets going downhill to the rim on his right hand, it's either over top of the person or a floater. He's just very, very good at that. Meanwhile, another miss on the outside perimeter by Malaysia. So back comes singing for Alexander barking signals. He's got Desmond O to his right. There's the screen. O. Young. Had the shot, passes it up, gives it back to Alexander. There's that screen again. Alexander will fire up the three. Got it. And Xavier Alexander contributes in every way possible. And that's, that's a testament to him being able to shoot the ball again, the type of work he's put into that craft and that skill. Well, we talked about this a little bit earlier, Scotty. You mentioned a couple of weeks ago that that was his Achilles heel spin move by Shepard down low. Off balance shot, stepping in the lane and getting the rebound, but last touch by Alexander. It'll be Malaysia ball. But, uh, Back to that point with uh, the X-Man, Alexander, really, he was mostly a show-and-go type of player, and then all of a sudden he starts developing that inside-outside uh, capability that you talked about. So he is a complete player the last four years. He's really developed his craft. Loose ball picked up by Young again, and back comes Singapore. Young going to the left hand this time, attacking the basket up and in. Very difficult to jump with Jaron Young. As soon as he gets that explosiveness going towards the rim, he is unstoppable. Two times on the trot, Jaron Young show. First with the left hand, then with the right hand. Watch this. He's got everybody backing up on their heels. He's going downhill right past Eversley. Also to his left, Benjamin Sim. So timeout being called by Malaysia. They are going to have to stop that sort of action. This is exactly what Singapore did to them on Friday night, attacking the rim at will. Jaron Young had 17 in that game. Well on his way with something similar to that. He leads all scorers with, well, actually second, Alexander with seven, Young with six early on here, and Fields with five. So the usual suspects getting it done early here for the Singapore Slingers. Yeah, seven, seven for 11 from the field. The Slingers look good. 18 points contributed from their world import so far. Great tempo for them, attacking the rim, going to their strength, and that's a really good thing and a really good look for the Slingers so far. You've got to cover Alexander, and the thing is, when you do that, he can go right around you. He can pop it around you in a second. So, new aspect of his game that he's showing the league. He's averaging just over 22 points a game. He scored 28 the other night against Malaysia. Remember, this is the third time they've met. They've met way back in November 23rd, Singapore handling that game easy, 101-47. Not so easy the other night in KL, 87-76. So he was walking away with it in this the second game of the Straits Cup. Eversley gives it up. Off to Benjamin Sim. Sim off to Shepard. Shepard left hand. Good ball movement by Malaysia. Now Egu in the field. That matchup that we talked about. Sim again. A little bit out of control. Getting off to Egu. Medium range jumper. Way off the mark. In fact, jammed up against the rim in the glass. So one and out for Malaysia. Yeah, and again, not a good look for Malaysia, right? Egu 18 feet from the rim, shot clock going down, contested pull-up jumper. It's, it's, it's not a good look for them right now. They just look a little fragmented on offense. So back comes Alexander and company. Singapore, biggest lead of the game by then by 10. Young slips. There's the screen thrown by Ong and the stroke of midnight. Young fires off, not good shot selection there. Back north Malaysia, Shepard in traffic, and he is fouled. 
Chuck, you said it. Singapore national Jonathan Wong is subbed in early to this game, and he is a streaky scorer. Very, very shifty in the open court with the sidestep and euro steps. Can shoot the three. It's a good sub by Perlman just to try and get some offense going. He averages eight points a game, the highest is on the locals for the Malaysia Westport Dragons. Eversley dumps it in to Shepard. Shepard's spin move against Han had that mismatch, and he takes advantage of it immediately. Rolls through the basket off the glass. He'll go the line for a three-point play. So 18 to 10 now. Watch it again. Um, just a little bit slow in throwing out that elbow and catching Shepard to his credit. Shepard continuing. So he goes to the line. He's got four. Leading score for the Westport Malaysian Dragons, as we said, are six and eleven. They've lost two in a row. Rattles that one home. Good looking crowd here at the OCBC Arena. Back outside the fields, who's up top. And over to number one, who's checked into the game, Jun Lin for Singapore. You see flashes across. Fields now. Alexander back outside. Fields a little bit outside of his comfort zone and rebound there by the small sky in the court, Jun Lin, so they'll reset. Fields goes back home. Well, look at the battle between him and Andrew. Another three by Alexander. Yeah, very confidently, Xavier Alexander pulls up off of the dribble. Again, no contest from Shepard. A great shot by Alexander there. He's got 10. Give and go. That time to Shepard, who finishes it. Somebody missed his defensive assignment. So 21 to 13, eight point lead now for Singapore. Young, with Alexander ahead of him. Now Ong Han Bin, now Alexander looking for fields, being fronted by Egwu. Off the dribble comes Ong. Six on the shot clock, Ong fires up a three, that's off the mark. Right into the hands of Shepard, and back come Malaysia. Eversley, he's been quiet so far, he accelerates inside the lane. Little Euro hop to the basket, no good, rebound by Fields. Back comes Young, off the dribble in the open court, takes the ball all the way to the house for a foul, and he'll go the line for a pair. Yeah, and John Fields starting a break with his defense there. Comes from the weak side, challenges. As soon as Singapore gets that ball, they're off to the races. There it is again, and man, oh man. Young finding lots of space inside, uh, similar to what he did the other night when he scored 17. There's Perlman. He has to be a little bit frustrated by the inability of Westcourt to get back and to stop the ball. You said it there, Chuck, and he knew it. He said it before in the interview. The ability to stop Singapore in the transition is going to be a tremendously important uh, aspect to this game, and they have not been able to do that so far. Young with seven points. Chance for Singapore to up a lead to 10. That would match their biggest lead of the game. Good game next Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a lot of Filipinos, San Miguel, a lot of Filipinos leading the league. 16-3, uh, a gaudy record. There's that trap again. Stepping through with Shepard and taken away, but uh, losing his footing a little bit was young. Crowd appreciative of that defensive effort. And that one, two, two half court trap. It's amazing that professionals get caught in that trapping zone in the corners. It's the worst spot you can bring the basketball. You need to keep it in the floor against that half court trap. Check in the game after a quick break for Chris Eversley. He's back in. Eversley. Partially blocked there, 24 second violation. Young is everywhere. Alexander around the screen by Fields, kick back outside, good ball movement inside it goes, trying to get it down to Fields, knocked away. Fields all alone downstairs again, stepped on the baseline. He got the beat on Shepard, that's a mismatch he'll take every single time, but John Fields lands on the baseline and the referee right there to call. 17.5 to go here in a Low key first quarter. And both these teams uh, just played each other on Friday. Not a lot of mystery. Third time they had met. Flashing through was Eversley. Shepard off the break. Coming over and applying the block again is Field. Chuck, you said it earlier. Singapore leads the ABL in blocks. In general, a ton of them come from Jaron Young at the wing and John Fields meeting people at the rim from the weak side. And there he goes again, contesting up. Nothing but ball sending it out of bounds. Good hustle by Ung Han Bin to seal off the baseline as well. So 0.9 seconds to go. Eversley trying to set up a catch and shoot. There it is off the break. No good. So Singapore will lead by 10. They will go into the 
intermission at the end of the first quarter. Slingers 23, Westport Malaysia Dragons 13 from here at the OCBC Arena. Don't go away. We'll be back with second quarter action in a moment. Nice little finger roll by him to start off the scoring. And earlier on, it was a 6-2 lead for Malaysia, but uh, they would only score seven after that initial breakout. There's Jaron Young off the dribble, and nobody there. A little bit slow on the weak side of Egwu to shut him down. There's Alexander, one of his two threes, and wide open again. Eversley gives him too much space, and Alexander responds. So, Scott, anything uh, on the first quarter stats to jump out at you? Yeah, from the, from the Westport Malaysia Dragons perspective, again, 5 of 21 from the field, 23%. They're, they're, what they've struggled with all year long is scoring the basketball to the tune of 73, it's only 73 points a game. And that continues again in this first quarter. And I'm trying to figure out why they can't score more efficiently with all the talent that they have on their roster. Settling for the jump shot, we talked about that. That is one of their problems. Maybe be a little bit more patient, try and dump the ball down into Igwu and run some screens, free up Eversley and Shepard and company. Like that, right over the top. So they must have been listening to us, Scotty. Very well said, Chuck, to start at Igwu with the jump hook to start the second quarter. So the lead trimmed to eight. Young running the offense from the outside. That's a little bit of a switch. Oh, Young with a long three is going to be off the mark. In there with the offensive board. Young will take it back to field and slams it. Jaron Young straight to the rim after the offensive rebound for the big right-handed tomahawk jam. Good job by Fields to spot him. And Jaron Young continues to find spaces in the Westport Malaysia defense and poking holes. There's a turnaround hook again off the mark. Jaron Young coming away with it. Nine for Young. He dumps it inside the field. Back outside again. Young again off the dribble. Forcing at that time. And he is fouled by Egwu, I believe. And if that is Egwu, that will be two on him. And accidentally there, he stepped right on Jaron Young's face when he hit the ground there. See, watch. Here comes Egwu coming over. Ouch. Yes, right on his face, right on his chin. None the worse for wear, hopefully. Chuck, if you look at the Slingers right now, Alexander and Young both with 10 points, but it's just how efficient they've done it. Alexander, 3 of 3 from the field, 2 of 2 from the foul line. Young, 4 of 7 from the field, 2 of 2 from the foul line. Like they've just done it with such a, a few amount of shots, and that's very positive for the Slingers going forward. Yeah, Fields also with three uh, assists so far. So Young still trying to shake off the effects. You can see him uh, trying to stretch out his jaw muscles. Said Egwu stepping right across it. One of two for Jaron Young attacking at will. Shepard, Eversley. Again, almost like a run and jump. That time you can see Young gravitating over to the ball, and right behind him was Alexander. So they were getting ready to set up another. Yeah, and two substitutions, Larry Liu and Kelvin Lim coming in, so the switchability and the length on the perimeter now for the Slingers is very advantageous. Shepard accelerates. And was the again, catch and shoot from three, no good. Ball on the court. Shepard now 
inside. Nice move by him. A little jump step off the glass. And the best thing about Winston Shepard is he's a scorer. He doesn't doesn't matter how many shots he's missed. He's going to continue to attack and continue to look to score. Blue over to Young. Back over to the other side now. Oh boy, ball taken away. So that was number 22 for the singers who checked again. Kelvin Lynn who gets stymied on the baseline. And Hoffs the ball up. Eversley dumping the ball down to Egwu again. Feels on him. Here comes the weak side help. And a foul there by Larry Liu. So team fouls. That will be the first team foul for Singapore. Not a very physical game so far, Chuck. It's there hasn't been a lot of contact, not a lot of fouls called. Only one foul on each side. One team foul on each side. That's not a ton. Yeah, Leon quarter. Chuan. Shepard around that one screen. Who thought about it? Keeps the dribble down. Now picks it up and fires a two. Long two is no good. Alexander right there to clean it up. Quickly getting the ball off the Young. Young bumps, grinds inside. It's going to be off the mark. So a little bit too ambitious that time for Young. They had his number that time. Able to rotate in front of him as he tries to get inside. There it is. And Yek did a really good job of sitting on his right hand there. Young wanted to attack the right side. Yek put his chest right between the right shoulder of the rim. Young had to come back to his left, and it wasn't, he wasn't successful that time. Some of the consistency on defense. And by the way, Jamie Perlman known as a defensive coach, so he will be right in the player's grill when he sees things like that. They do respond on that possession. Off the dribble, kick back outside. Spin move, turns, fires, will be well short. Ball right into the path of Lim. Larry Liu gets it. Rotating the ball out to Alexander. Young, left hand, and again, nice job on the defense. Somehow getting the ball over to Xavier Alexander, but one and out. Good defensive stand for two times in a row. Eversley off the dribble, off the glass, up and in. So better job, no foul. Eversley wanted a better job the last couple of possessions, the last couple of uh, defensive stands by Westport Malaysia. Dragon Scotty getting in front of the ball handler this time, or twice now, Young unable to uh, wheel and deal like he's been used to doing so far. Yeah, you said it, Chuck. They just haven't let him get downhill the last few possessions. And if he doesn't get downhill, now those are contested shots instead of drives at the rim. Bad pass downstairs, so a couple of turnovers by Singapore trying to force the ball down into the hands of Fields. So 26-19, slowly but surely the Dragons getting back uh, into the rhythm of the game. And John Fields has a really high basketball intellect. And you're right, Chuck. You talked about it at the beginning of the game about that, having that killer instinct. And something the Singers have struggled with this year. And this is a great opportunity for them to try and finish West Coast Malaysia Dragons in the first half here. Edwards Lee spreading it out. Gets inside off the glass. The follow. No good by Egwu. Back comes to Alexander. Gives it up to Young. Young. Show and go inside, whips it back outside. Larry Liu lines it up from three, no good. Offensive board, kick back outside by Delvin Go. Wide open look that time again. Another shot by Liu off the mark. Fields follows, yes. Nice job, it looked like Delvin Go might have got a hand to it, but the ball falls in. John Fields with his fifth rebound of the game. Already three offensive. He's just so active on the offensive glass and so hard to box out. Yep, rotates the ball over to Shepard. Shepard, nice job accelerating. Good ball movement again by Malaysia, but uh, oh boy, that's a foul. Singapore fans don't like that. Yet getting tripped up as he tries to dribble penetrate. Let's watch it again and see if we can find it. Right there, Larry Liu, as he's retreating, gets his foot tangled up with Yek. Another angle. Sort of screened out there. Liu can't believe it. So second tee foul on Singapore. They'll take it out on the near side. Shepard with the ball as Malaysia tries to spread it out. So they are trying to make some adjustments. Shepard accelerates again. He is good at that and to the basket and good. And he will go the line for one. Try and make it a three-point play. Nice job by Shepard. Yeah, Shepard's got 11 points on the second time. He came back to that left hand and finished really nicely for an and one. Great touch coming to his non-dominant hand and getting it off the glass to go. He has that hesitation move, then quick first step. So a chance now to get Malaysia to within six. 
Jaron Young and Winston Shepard have a little bit of a dialogue going on here. A little bit of uh, talking going back between the two of them. No good on the free throw shot. Alexander with the board. Back in the hands of Young, who's running the offense still. Young accelerates, goes straight to the basket with the right hand. Tom yeah. Yeah. You made the point, Chuck. No one gets between his right hand and the rim. It's going to end in a flashy finish, just like it did right there. Eversley, right hand, and he is fouled by Fields. Things getting a little bit chippy. Watch Young again. Here he is off the dribble. Now watch him just you know, a little bit of interference there. Egg will be pushed by his own man, Tan. Uh, Tan. And Young did a great job of selling the jump shot there with his hesitation dribble and getting Egwu to bite. Off the Shepard, around the screen, no good. Rebound taken by Delvin Go, his third, third board of the game. Back comes Alexander, 5'11. In a more energy field second quarter. Ball rotates over to the right side, surrounded his fields, and he is forced out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover. So nice job on the interior defense by Malaysia making the adjustments. Scotty Perlman doing a good job. Yeah, Perlman, you said defensive-minded coach. He's made that adjustment. They've start, started to show the double at different times. And there's Egu with the double. They got him pinned in the corner. Fields ends up traveling. So fourth turnover of the game by Singapore. They had two in the first quarter. Check that three, so that is turnover number five. Eversley will check it in. Shepard with 11. Eversley with four, Egwu with four for Malaysia. Back comes Shepard. Alexander on him. Egwu coming over to, to provide the help. Kick back outside, wide open well for Shepard. And for three, if it goes, it does not. Rebound by Egwu. Now in the hands of Chin. Going glass, in and out it goes. Unlucky. Rebound by Fields. He'll bring it back down himself. Still Fields, kick. Alexander now, entry pass to field. He'll work on Egwu, cross-court pass, almost threw it away. Larry Liu corrals it. Desmond O, Alexander, five on the shot clock. Still Alexander in the air, no good. One and out, back come Malaysia, quick outlet pass. No whistle, wow. Rotating the ball to number six, that's Benjamin Sim off the board, or off the mark, Sim again. Inside, nobody coming out to meet him off the mark again. My goodness, wild and wooly stuff here in Malaysia. A couple of gimme shots, and Benjamin Sim not able to convert. Now you described it perfectly there, Chuck. Yuck had two wide open, uncontested finishes at the rim that he just sent long both times. Uh, very scrappy at the end there in the last possession. So timeout being called by Singapore. They need to get in sync a little bit on both the offensive and defensive ends. For Westport, opportunity to get uh, right back into the game. They bypassed a couple of opportunities, especially with Yekleon Chuan with the ball. Clear path to the basket, could not convert. Watch it again. Here's Jaron Young with the effort. Fields and back outside again, and Young with the slam. That was a couple of plays before that. Young, incidentally, with 13 points, leading all scorers right now. There is Young again with the jam a little bit later. So Perlman and company. Well, they've got to be happy about, you know, they stayed in contact with the Slingers, and the Slingers, again, uh, this has been a little bit of an issue with them, uh, Scotty, when they have a team down. Really, their inability sometimes to keep the foot on the gas and go for the kill, go for the juggler, so to speak. So I know that the coaching staff has talked to the players. The players have talked to us about it in the interviews. They've mentioned it just about every time that we question them. But uh, a lot easier to do when you're talking about it than when you're on the floor, that's for sure. Yeah, one thing the Slingers, a big, big, huge contributor to them being so successful these last five games uh, have been the locals. And so far, we haven't seen them play up to their standard that they have that last five games. And, the thing that I'm a little worried about is, is their shot attempts. Delvin Goh's only taken one shot. Nung, only one shot. Desmond O hasn't attempted a field goal yet. Uh, they're such an important and valued part of this team. They really need to get a little bit more aggressive uh, on the offensive end. And very right. Uh, Young with 13, Alexander with 10, Fields with 7. That's the extent of the scene for single scoring. They do need to get the locals involved. Ball on the floor and 24-second violation. 
So Delvin Go can't find the handle. So another turnover for Singapore. That's number six, three in this quarter. 3.42 to go here in the second quarter. Scott McKinnon and Chuck Schreiner, if you just joined us, 30-21 in favor of the Slinger. So happy you could spend part of your Sunday afternoon with us. Second game of the Straits Cup. Singapore winning the initial game on Friday, 87-76. Eversley and a foul by Desmond O. No, push away by Eversley, they say. So Eversley, that'll be two on him. Foul situation on the other side of the ball. Eversley with two. Number 25, Tan with two. Number 13, Chin with two. For Singapore, Young with a pair. Larry Liu with two. So Alexander looking for movement. Back outside, wide open look for Ong. He's going to be short with that one and out. And not very good shot selection by Singapore, not letting things develop on their half court offense. Eversley downstairs to Igwu. Cool, uh, Fields right there. Egwu posts up, turns left, fires over the top. Lost the thread of where he was. Fields coming down with him wisely. Gives it up to Delvin Go on the trailer. Oh, nice job by Alexander to find the cutting fields. Yeah, and there's Xavier Alexander's sixth assist of the game. Little drop down pass, fourth in the ABL and assist. John Fields' massive finish at the rim. The fields with nine. Taking the ball all the way to the rack is Shepard looking for the foul, doesn't get it. Singapore up by 11, their biggest lead of the game. Wide open look, passing it up is Desmond O. Oh, left hand, Go going to the basket, trying to go glass. The follow again by Fields, third attempt is good. There's John Fields, 11 and 7. Now he's coming on strong the second half of the second quarter. So 34 21, Singapore, the ball is extended to 13. Shepard. Gives it off to Eversley, dumps it down to Egu, who turns and fires, can't get it to fall. Go with another rebound. Alexander, left hand, fires it off to Desmond O. Thought about it, rotates it to Fields. Delvin Go downstairs, now he'll slip up to the top post, and the ball thrown out of bounds. Trying to hit Alexander on the low post, but he was going one way, the ball was going another. Singapore's done a really good job defensively of mixing it up. Now they've into a little bit of man pressure just to take the shot clock down and put a little pressure on the ball handles of the Malaysia uh, Dragons. Eversley gives it up over to Shepard. Long three off the mark again. The shooting percentage must be abysmal for Malaysia. Shades of what we saw in the game Friday where they shot 31% on their own home court. And it was like 24% at the end of the first quarter here. Downstairs to Delvin Go. Little drop step. And there's a foul. Nice move by Delvin Go, going left and then right. Word on his in the league is he will always go left. Well, he did it there, but look, there's a little spin move the opposite way. So maybe a new wrinkle in the offensive uh, game of Delvin Go, Scotty. Yeah, great footwork there from Delvin Go coming back to his right league set. And Delvin Go fills it up, so. The local boy gets on the board. 36-21, 15-point lead for Singapore. 117 to go here in the first half. Eversley off to Sims. Sims, spin move downstairs, bumps, grinds downstairs. Egwu can't get it to fall. Nice job by Fields. You said, Chuck, it's amazing John Fields' his ability to uh, instinctually either contest the shot or stay down in it. He guesses and he knows 90% of the time the right way. Fields right above the free throw line, cans that one. The 18 footer for 38 21. Creating some space between them and the Westport Malaysian Dragons. Eversley, Desmond Owen, his pocket, firing the ball downstairs to Shepard up and in. Fields did not want to contest. Really nice pass from Ezra Eversley there on the, on the dive to the rim. So 24.2, 13 on the shot clock. Malaysia will get the ball back. Singapore spreads it out. Up pops Fields to the high post. Throws the screen, stays there. Acceleration by Alexander. Catch and shoot by Fung is way off the mark. I don't think there was any foul. Maybe just a slip there by Fung Han Bin. Zebra Alexander's very animated to the official right now. He thought. Han Bin got hit there on the three, but I, I'm like you, Chuck. I'm not sure if he did. Let's watch it again. Tough to tell. 
on the replay. I'm doing a little bit of acting there after the fact. I did see a push by Fields on Shepard, however, down on the low post. So the Dragons will call a timeout and try and figure out what to do in the last 8.3 seconds. If you just joined us, it's been mostly all Singapore. Dragons got out of the gate fast. They took the quick 6-2 lead, but they were held to seven points the remainder of that first quarter. Singers having their way. Young with 13 points having his way in the first and second quarter, able to get to the rim. Here's Delvin Go on that last play. Nice little bounce pass over to Fields with the finish. We thought that the Malaysian uh, Westport Dragons had made some adjustments on the defensive end, but sort of went south on them as we look at uh, Singapore again. Scotty poking holes in that interior defense and everybody back on their heels, including Igwu. You said it, Chuck, 15 to 32, almost 50% now from the field for Singapore. Well, Malaysia's 10 to 42, 25%. You're just not going to win basketball games shooting 25% from the field. Not at all. And that has been their problem throughout the season. Remember, they are number 10 in offense in the league, only averaging 73.2 points a game. Singapore a lot better than that, although they're not setting the world on fire anyway, but well over 85 points a game. And of course, no secret to Singapore's success. They've always done it with defense. No exception this year. Number two in the league in defense, holding their opponents to 79.3 points a game. So. Remaining true to script, at least so far in the first half, is Shepard trying to get some space. And a foul, so he's bailed out with 2.2 seconds to go. And that will go on Desmond Owen, I believe, will put Shepard at the line. So opportunity for the Dragons to get to within 13 at least. And that's unfortunate with eight seconds to put him on the line, foul him 35 feet from the rim there. So Eversley uh, has been a rock on offense for Malaysia this season, averaging 18.2, eight rebounds, three assists. Here's Shepard, in fact, at the line. He's averaging 20.6, so leading the team in scoring. And 6'8", 210 pounds, only 25 years of age. So even the imports in their mid to late 20s. Eversley, I believe, is the oldest guy on the team at 27. Two of two. Singapore with a couple of seconds. Alexander will hoist up a long, long shot. It's the top of the glass, and that will do it. Singapore will be happy with that. They lead 38 to 25 at the end of the half. We'll be back for our halftime show in a little bit from the OCBC Arena where Singapore lead by 13 at the end of the first half. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Our halftime activities, 38-25 in favor of the Singapore Singers. As you look at the first quarter and the second quarter, Singapore doing their normal lockdown job on defense, Scotty. And this is the reason why they're always up uh, in the standings. You know, sometimes you go, well, they don't really have a, a guy that scores that well. They do have Alexander, but it's the job they do on defense that sort of makes them tick. Oh, you said it, Chuck. Their defensive, their defensive ability to switch and to contest and to do everything is just so special. I mean, they only give up 25 points this first quarter. They're going to hold, if they keep this up, they're going to hold Malaysia 50 points in the game, which is unheard of at this level. Yeah, so looking at the highlights in the first half, start out pretty well for the Dragons. Little finger roll to the basket by Eversley. And the other side of the ball, Alexander pulling his way. What control in the air, as Scotty was saying. His first couple of points of the game. Jaron Young starts to take over the game like only Jaron Young can do, Scotty. And there he is, knifing between two defenders. So here we go again. Alexander from outside showing that he can do it from downtown. A couple of threes. There's the second. And you've got to put a hand in his face. He has improved immeasurably from the perimeter. 
go again. There is Coach Perlman not liking what he's seen uh, early on. Jaron Young from Threesville off the mark. But watch who's there to clean it up. John Fields a kick back outside. Nice job. Good move. Example of telepathy there with uh, Jaron Young, who again knifing through the defenders and getting to the rim. Shepard showing what he can do in traffic. He's averaging over 20 points again. Nibu with the rebound and a little fast break action for Malaysia. Off balance shot, taking the contact by Larry Liu, and that was the beginning of a three point play. Fields turning and firing. That little baby hook of his is such a weapon in traffic. Here comes Jaron Young again. Wow, quick first step, just dicing around Igwu with the tomahawk and falling down for his efforts on the way back. Alexander getting it off the fields. Little bounce pass in traffic. Igwu back on his heels. There it is again. Shepard. He is the leading point uh, scorer for the Malaysian Westport Dragons in the first half. He's got 11. So a couple of things that the uh, Singapore singers won't like is the turnovers. I think that's wrong. Actually, they Singapore has nine and uh, three for Westport. But uh, you look at the rebound, Scotty, 32 to 17, and uh, the field goal percentage, 15 to 33. That's near 50 percent. But look at the other side of the ball, 10 to 42. You're not going to win a lot of games that way. Oh, and like you said, that shooting percentage, 23 percent is, is abysmal. And, and and when you're giving up second opportunities, 32 rebounds to 17 for the Slingers, they're getting second chances to score over and over and over again. It's not a good combination for Westport Malaysia right now. Yeah, Singapore a little bit careless with the ball uh, down on the low post, especially giving up uh, more turnovers than they are used to doing. But uh, that's OK when you're leading by 13 points. Remember, this is the straight scup, Singapore won uh, the game 87-76 uh, of Singapore. If they win today, they will get their second straight straight cup. By the way, we have a feature on Ung Han Bin, and uh, let's see what Ung Han Bin has to say for the Singapore Slingers. Hi, I'm Han Bin, and I'm the quirkiest player in the team. A platform for me to reach out to kids. We usually organize some team bonding games during our off days, like uh, laser deck, pew pew. Usually after the game, I will do some stretches to uh, relieve the muscles and have a meal with my friends to take my mind off the game. But for now, I'll spend time with my girlfriend. Ah. Yes, we lose our cool sometimes, and I think there will be times that you need to retaliate and show that you know you are not backing down from that challenge. But everything stays in the basketball context-wise. He has to be Kelvin Lim. Uh, there was one time he was snoring so bad that I used the pillow to hit him to stop him from snoring. But it didn't work because after every three seconds, he will continue snoring again. And I even put on my earpiece to listen to some music to sleep. But his snoring was so loud that he pierced through the music. The best thing about being taller is being able to spot people easily in the crowd. And of course, the fresher air. But the worst thing, is that I'm easily spotted. People that chew their food really loudly. That's when I was a gangster when I was younger, but thankfully because of basketball, we go on the right path. Catch the Singapore Slingers as we do battle in this season's ASEAN Basketball League. See you at the games. So thank you, Ung Han Bin. A little bit of insight into what his life is like being a member of the Singapore Singers. And Scotty, we could shift gears a little bit. Uh, the league uh, is uh, getting to the point where it's almost crunch time. The top of the pile now, the uh, uh, the team from the Philippines, uh, the San Miguel Alab Filipinas, is 16 and three. But the news is you've got to finish in the top four to ensure that you get home court advantage. The Slingers right now in a great position to do just that. Yeah, and you said it, Chuck. Top four is extremely important for these teams. The home court advantage to have two games in that three-game series at home is, is unbelievably valuable. And, and the Slingers, like John Fields said at the beginning, they need to win the games that they are supposed to win. And this is one of these games that they are supposed to win. And in the first half right now, they have come with the energy and the execution that they've needed to, to be successful in this game. They've done a good job also against the Saigon Heat, taking three of those games, three of the first four games. They have one more to play. 
So beating the team, as you say, beating the teams that you're supposed to beat, if, if they can beat, hang on and beat Malaysia today, that would be six of their 12 wins against two teams that are in their division. You've got to take care of business in your division if you expect to go very far in the playoffs. Yeah, and you said it, Chuck, and, and they've done that so far this year. You have to be fan. Uh, I'd be very happy if you're a Slingers fan as far as inter-conference uh, play. They have been tremendously successful, like you said, against those three teams. Even the teams that they have been beaten by, for instance, they had been played uh, the, a lot of Filipino team once. They were beaten only 77-71. A game against Formosa to lead off the season. They only lost by six or seven points. I think we counted at one point. Out of their seven losses, I think it's been by a total of like 25 points. So they aren't far that uh, they aren't far behind the, the people that are a little bit above them, and uh, they have shown that they can play in either division. Yeah, there's there the Slingers are one of the top teams here, and when they're on and when their players, the locals and the imports, are competing together in unison, they're a very very tough team to beat. Okay, so Jaron Young leading the way with uh, 13 points for the Singapore Slingers, and we'll see. What he can do in the second half. Remember, the Slingers up by 13, going for win number 12, the OCBC Arena. So we'll be back for second half action in a moment. Back, ladies and gentlemen, 38 23 in favor of the home team, Singapore Slingers, or the Westport Malaysian Dragons. Scott McKinnon, along with Chuck Schreiner and uh, Scotty, you know, somehow, some way, if the Westport Malaysian Dragons are going to get that all important seventh win, remember, they own the eighth best record in the league. Only the top eight teams go through the playoff. They've got to generate some offense. It's not going to get it done shooting 25% from the floor. You, you said that. Also, you're not going to get it done only scoring 25 points per half. In your estimation, what do they have to do to get some offense rolling against this red-hot defensive team, Singapore Slingers? I think you made a great point. Going through Egg Egwu in the post, they're attacking the rim with Eversley. Right now, they're 2 of 10 and 2 of 8, both shooting 20 and 25%. And these are two really quality imports. Division One basketball players who have decorated professional careers. Uh, they just need to start generating some offense through their world imports, and hopefully their locals can get some open shots out of that. Okay, Singapore will get it going, and then the black uniforms with the gold trim coming at you from left to right. Alexander tosses it cross court to Desmono. He hasn't taken a shot yet, tries to pull his way into the baseline, and he's fouled, the blocking foul there. So good start for Desmond on the Singapore Slingers. And yeah, I like that aggressiveness from Desmond Oh, putting the ball and trying to make something happen get to the rim. Talk about intangibles that a player brings to the team. It's not going to show up in the box scores, but Desmond Oh does have those intangibles uh, universally liked by the Slingers. The ball knocked away. Out of bounds it goes. I think it will be, it will be Malaysia ball. Yeah, so another turnover for Singapore. That is 10. Very uncharacteristic of Singapore to have this many turnovers. They're usually very controlled. They average just over 13 per game around mid-table. But uh, turn the ball over at an alarming rate this game anyway, at least for the first half. And again, the Malaysia shooting 25% from the floor. Long three is off the mark. And just what we said that they probably would do good to get away from, the settling for the jump shot. Scores yet wide open look for Delvin go fires away. That's going to be off the mark stepping in the lane and picking it up Back down the floor Shepard gives it off to the right side. No good. So both the teams coming out cold here in the second half Rebound taken by Egwu back rotating downstairs. It goes feels Egwu post up move by him Rotates the ball back outside long three off the mark another offensive board by Egwu So reset for Malaysia now Egwu fields again on him. Now he faces up. He tries to go baseline. Got a little bit of separation. Going to be short. Alexander there to clean it up. Back on the slingers down the left-hand side. He's got Delvin Go on the right. Young out top. Flashing across will be Desmond O. Off balance shot. Fields right there to clean it up. Jump step ahead is good. John Fields with his 15th point. Nine rebounds. Six of 11 now from the field. Fantastic, tremendous offensive rebound. Steps, pivots right back to the rim and finishes out. Again, 15 point lead by the Slingers. It's been all Slingers who just joined us, except for the first minute or two of the game. 
Malaysia had the 6-2 lead back outside. Another jump shot, number 26 off the mark. That is Yek. Outlet to Alexander. And playing right into the hands of the slingers when uh, you settle for the jump shot. Oh, Fields almost walks with the ball. Gives it up to Desmond. Desmond to Young. Young accepts the screen, goes to the left hand, pivots, gets the ball back to Delvin Gold, pulls his way inside. Ball off the mark, off to the races now. Malaysia, one and out for Singapore. Taking the ball close to but not for away. Third block for Singapore in the game. Outlet pass, go ahead. Fields. And stepping on the baseline again. So John Fields, that's twice he's done that. So end to end action by both these teams, Scotty. Watch it again. There's Fields, and yep, right on the baseline. Nice job of sealing off the baseline by Nana Egwu. Back comes Eversley, left hand. Runs into Desmond O. Kick back outside. Good ball movement by Malaysia. There's the screen. Inside it goes to Shepard. Knocked away. Singapore gets the turnover. Getting the ball over to Desmond O. Now to Jaron Young looking for cutters, not there. Alexander turns and fires for two off the mark. Rebound taken by Chris, uh, Chin Cheng. Inside Shepard taking the contact up and in. So 40-27. Young, still young. Stops and pops from the top of the key. Off the mark, one and out. Back come Malaysia. Shepard again with the right hand this time. Shovels it across. Off the mark, no foul. Eversley can't hit the shot. Off the mark, back comes Singapore. Alexander ahead. Fields, fans it in. John Fields, end to end. Crossover for the big hammer dunk finish for his 17th point. So 42-27. Fields now with 17. Back to Eversley. Eversley off to Shepard. Shepard with the right hand. Eversley. Opposite side now. Going to Egwu. Alexander, he has a mismatch on him. Let's see if he takes advantage. Turns the corner, can't get it to go. Nice seal there by Xavier Alexander. And back comes Young. And he is grabbed by Egwu as he comes sliding through. And Winston Shepard is very, very frustrated right now. Very emotional, has to control his temper. You can see it by the way he's acting. Very, very upset with the officials, upset with the slingers. Has to calm himself down just a little bit right now. So we're gonna have a timeout on the court for Malaysia. They trail 42-27, Young getting pummeled again. That's the second time he's been hit in the head. Last time the jaw, remember, he got stepped on. And this time, the, the hand, uh, inadvertent hand, actually, by Egwu across the slide of the face. So watch it again. Here it is, starting the break. Fields going away with it in the open court. Slamming down the other side. Another look at it. And I'll tell you what, that's bad news when you see a guy like uh, John Fields be able to take the ball from coast to coast. He's not exactly a blur when he gets the ball in. Well, someone in Malaysia had to identify the ball there and stop it. Coast to coast, grabbing his own defensive rebound and dunking it on the other end for a big man like Fields. That's uh, it's not a great defensive possession for Malaysia. So 42-27. Malaysia, remember, had five, uh, 25 points in the first half. So in the last four minutes and three seconds, they scored a total of three points. Just what we were talking about before. They've got to find a formula way to break down the interior of the Singapore defense and uh, get some more high percentage shots instead of just settling for the jump shot that's not going to get it done. Meanwhile, John Fields continuing to rock and roll. He's taking over the scoring laurels so far with 17, as Scotty said. Young with 13, Alexander with 10, one and out. Back comes Malaysia, Shepard again, hesitation move. Quick first step in evidence again, and stepping out of bounds is Egwu. Turnover for Malaysia. Now it'll be uh, Singapore ball, and uh, sloppy play by both these teams to start the third quarter, Scotty. Yeah, 15 turnovers now for the Slingers, five for Malaysia. Wow. 20 turnovers in a game so far combined. That's a lot of turnovers for both teams. They just need to slow down to make the right decision with the basketball and the right pass. Singapore's saving grace is the fact that they were able to attack the basket and they're 
rebounding edge as well, but the coaching staff of Singapore can't be happy with uh, that many turnovers. And checking into the game now for Singapore, number 17, Ong Han Bin. Surprising we haven't seen a lot of Jonathan Wong today for Malaysia Westport Dragons. Averaging eight points, three rebounds, and two assists a game. He's a dynamic player and one of their more talented scorers. Surprising to see him only get six minutes so far this game. He is a Singaporean. Mother is Malaysian, therefore the connection. Allowing to compete as a local for Westport Malaysia Dragons. Kick back outside, Alexander, spin move. Great control in the air off the glass. Beautiful move by the X-Man. What length on that spin move to the rim, the length. Straight to the rim for the X-Men. 44-27 Singapore, their biggest lead of the game. Watch it again. Tremendous move. Clearing space away. They grew afraid to leave fields or else uh, Alexander what, will do what he usually does, is just dump it down to him. So no weak side help at all. And again, there's that body control. Xavier Alexander gets up in the air, makes a decision, double clutch, nice finish at the rim. 5.17 to go here in the third quarter. If you just joined us, so happy you could spend part of your Sunday afternoon with us at the OCBC Arena. Scott McKinnon and Chuck Schreiner along with the call. Third place Singapore Slingers at 11 and 7. And the uh, eighth place Westport Malaysian Dragons at 6 and 11. Alexander Young, Young through the middle again, takes it to the house. And there's that right hand. They close out to the wrong shoulder. He attacks right hand, gets to the rim. As soon as he's up in the air, no one can contest him there. No rim protection. Jaron Young with the finish. Shepard, still Shepard. Delvin go on him. Pass over to Yek to the left side. Yek, Desmond over. Check that on Han Bin in his pocket. Nice job by Alexander to steal it away, and he is off to the races. Great anticipation by Alexander. 48 to 27. 2.5 steals per game. Again, fourth in the ABL. Shepard. Right hand, spin, inside, got it, forced that. So we talked about how frustrated Shepard was, and he's trying to take the team on his back right now, but a sloppy job getting back, allowing Fields to get behind the defense. Entry pass in transition right behind, and another flush. 19 points now for Fields. Uncontested jump shot there by Egwu. They'll give him that shot. 50-31, 19-point edge for Singapore with 3.50 to go here in the third quarter. Alexander waiting for cutters. He's got Fields downstairs. Now Fields backs out. Alexander from the elbow is going to be off the mark. Over the top goes Fields to get the rebound. Last touch by who? It'll be Egwu, so it'll be Singapore ball. You have to admire John Fields' activity there in the offensive glass. Eversley's trying his hardest to box him out, but Fields swims him twice. Gets a little tip on the ball, second jump, great rebound. Nice job, Fields staying with it, as Scotty says. Delvin go, Fields again, trying to go baseline. The blocking foul by Egwu, quick first step by Fields. Egwu is too, too active on that close, and he, he gets up in there every single time. Fields gives him a little bit of a shot, but he needs to stay down, he needs to stay disciplined there. Checking in, Alexander over the top. Yes, oh my goodness. What an athletic move by Jaron Young. And what a baseline out of bounds play. They set it up for the screen board in the corner. Readjusted, he went back door to the rim. Easy lob for Jaron Young. Shepard from Freesville off the mark right there to clean it up. Didn't get anything. Egwu right around the free throw line. No good. Another offensive board. Shepard gets behind Alexander. Euro step inside. Young tries to save it. And here it goes. Good hustle by Malaysia on the floor again. Picking it up is Alexander. He fouls. Shepard got to it first. Alexander with the hand over the top. I have to admire Shepard's effort. He won three or four 50-50 balls there. First foul of the day for Xavier Alexander. 2.55 to go here in the third quarter. Back outside it goes. Number 30. Just checked into the game for Malaysia. Little jump step across the key, no good. Ball contested, out of bounds it goes, and on the baseline again. 
Manu Igwu. We're getting a lot of those calls today. People with uh, their players with their foot on the baseline. We saw Igwu, that's two on him, and also two times with John Fields that happened. Again, nice looking crowd here at the OCBC Arena. Alexander again taking over the point guard duties. He's got Young parked out to the right hand side and Hung Han Bin to the left. Young now, left hand behind the screen of Fields. Now Young, little floater in the lane is no good. Rebound by Shepard. Outlet pass. Stop and pop from the elbow. Trying to go glass with Benjamin Sim, no good. Back comes Singapore. Alexander, he is quickly fouled by Chin. It was a pretty aggressive foul. I think they're going to call an attention to there. Xavier Alexander with a nice Euro step and wrapped him right around the face. Let's see. Oh boy. Not even making any attempt to play defense with his feet. Just a chop sort of a motion for Chin. Coach Neo doesn't like that at all. Well, Perlman down on his seat now. Alexander hits the first one. That's that improved three throw shooting again. Three of three from the line today. Chuck Singapore is seven of nine. You, you've talked about it multiple times this year. They've done a very good job of getting better at that throughout the season. So Singapore will have another shot in the possession on the intentional foul. A little bit short that time. So first free throw miss of the day for Xavier Alexander. And Singapore will have control of the ball. 53-31, 2.13 to go here in the third quarter. Westport Malaysia's fallen into a 2-3 zone here. They're trying anything to slow down the pace and get Singapore to shoot some jump shots. Alexander downstairs to Young. Ball watching by Malaysia. That's the danger of that 2-3 zone as it rotates. You can get behind it sometimes, and the fans appreciative of the effort by the Singapore Slingers. Coach Perlman said it at the beginning of the game, sometimes Singapore just seems to find another gear. Well, that's exactly what they've done here in the third quarter. Eversley back in the game, going with the left hand, loses it momentarily. He's trapped on the side. Nice job of pursuit by the Slingers. Out of bounds it goes. It'll be Malaysia ball on the near side. And another good adjustment by Coach Neal and Johnson. That's the same play they ran against uh, Saigon the other day where they set the screen on the back side of the zone and they send Jaron Young in from the wing for the alley-oop dunk. Denied on the entry. Alexander comes up with it. Back he comes for Singapore. Off balance shot. If it goes, it'll count. It does not. He'll go the line for a pair. And that's 30. Chin again with another aggressive foul. Shouldering Alexander and setting it to the ground. So watch this uh, play before this. Watch Alexander on the alley -oop downstairs to Young, lurking on the baseline, getting behind the defense. Again, that's the weakness of that sliding 2-3 zone defense. It's a really nice set there. They have Field set the ball screen on the top of the zone. Alexander's going, and then Russell Lowe setting on the opposite side, bottom of the zone, Young to the rim. Alexander, the first of two. Biggest lead of the game by the Slingers, 25. Unbelievable, 134 to go in the third quarter, Sky. Remember, the Dragons had 25 points at the end of the half. They've held them to six points. Uh, 13 of 60 from the field, Chuck. You, you said it perfectly. They just have to find a way to score. Egwu, left hand, nobody there. Shepard now, Young on him. Eversley. Falling away, can't get it to go, but Edgu right there to clean it up. Good position underneath. Good box out. Great finish by Edgu there. Alexander, this field comes flashing through. Alexander, kick back outside. On, catch and shoot for three. And that's what we like to see right there. Hanbin stepping in confidently into a three, getting his first three of the game. That's what we need from the locals. Great job by Hanbin. Shepard freelancing inside, gets his pocket pick. Back outside come the Slingers, three on two. Cross court it goes. Ung thought about it. Fields will try a three. Yes! What can't he do, Chuck? 22 points, 12 rebounds, the double double feed on himself. With Singapore up by 29. Threatening to blow this totally open. Shepard. 
dumps it inside and a foul and it will not go the foul there will go on young I believe that will send number 30 to the line chin what a season John Fields has had consistently every single game this man shows up 22 and 12 in the game 10 to 15 in the field another look at that three by fields I don't know how many threes he's got in the season but uh, few enough where I think he can remember them all so Chen buries the first one. So should Singapore hold on, Scotty, that they would rise to 12 and 7, half game behind Formosa. Story, of course, you want to finish in the top four. That will ensure you home court advantage throughout the playoffs. Singapore in a great position to do that now should they keep up what they have been doing. They travel Wednesday night to Indonesia to play the CLS Knights. And of course, the big game, uh, Alexander stops and pops from the free throw line, no good. That will do it. So three quarters in the books. We'll talk more about the remainder of the season for the Slingers a little bit later on if we have time. Meanwhile, good vibes here at the OCBC Arena after three, Slingers 62. Westport Malaysian Dragons 34 will be back for the final 10 minutes in just a moment. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you see the score is 62-34. As we look at the third quarter highlights, and most of them are going to be the Slingers, and there's the miss, but look who's right there to clean it up. John Fields taking the incidental contact, flushing it right back in. Other side of the ball, Shepard. He has been one of the few bright spots for Westport Malaysian Dragons. He's got 19. Igwu, who averages 18 during the season, only has eight. Eversley only with four, Scotty. Spin move by Alexander. Great control in the air. That would be a candidate for play of the game. There it is there. Well, that might be another one, too. Beating the zone inside. Alexander rotating the ball inside. Too young for the flush. And uh, there's John Fields with the three. So everybody getting in the act for Singapore. Hung Han Bin with the big three also in that quarter. Uh, they'll go with a pair of uh, points too as well so some of the local guys marginally getting in the scoring game but uh, we'd sure like to see the locals contribute a little bit more offensively Scotty yeah they're so important to this team Chuck and we just really want to see it uh, Desmond O at uh, uh, Hanbin and go Delvin go being aggressive and you saw that towards the end of the third quarter which is a real good sign for Singapore going forward in this fourth quarter foul on Singapore there oh, and nice. down low getting the ball and getting pushed the first team foul on Singapore comes at the 9.49 mark. Again, Singapore on Wednesday will go to Indonesia to play the CLS night. Skip pass inside. Woo. See who touched that last. Out of control that time by Shepard, and they wanted the touch by Singapore, but no. Egu was asking Shepard and somebody else get a touch, and he said, no, it's me. Yeah, and Egu had a nice little opportunity to step to the rim there, and it didn't happen. He just didn't dive to the rim. That would have been a nice little layup for him. And back comes Singapore. Alexander Young on that right-hand side. He was quiet in the third quarter after a stupendous first half. Turning and firing Russell Lowe. What a move by Russell Lowe. He saw he had the mismatch. He sealed his man. Tons of contact. Nice little shimmy dream shake there. Coming back to his right hand for the jump hook. Great start for Russell Lowe in this fourth quarter. Shepard, still Shepard on the right-hand side. Accelerates. Nice job. Gets the foul again. So Shepard 
Still full of energy, getting the ball down on the low blocks and getting the contact, gabbering away. Yeah, Chuck, you said he's been the bright spot today. He's done a really good job. 19 points, 8 assists, 4 rebounds. He has been the team leader as far as scoring goes throughout the season. He's 6'8", but only 210 pounds, so really thin-like. What a career he had at San Diego State from 2012 to 16. Also applying his trade in Hungary and came back for a stint in the D League, New Zealand, Israel. He was a NBL All-Star uh, in the New Zealand League. Top five in 2016. Finishes that off. So 29 point lead for Singapore. They'll try and keep their foot on the gas. That is something that I'm sure the coaches talked about in the huddle several times. We've had big leads going into the fourth quarter and the game's become unnecessarily close. Let's see if Singapore can keep the door shut here in the fourth quarter. Fields is unconscious. Well, he's out of game. 18 footer. 24th point. He's been amazing today, Chuck. So back up over 30 points. Shepard around the screen, supplied by Egwu. Long three off the mark. Ball fought for and controlled by Malaysia. They'll have it at the 832 mark. Malaysia's now 0 of 13 from three today. You're shooting 0% from three. It's just not going to happen in the ABL. The league's too good, too talented. Here on the inbound pass, and again, uncontested jump shot. Here's the outlet. Downstairs it goes. Nice job to smell that out by Egu. Otherwise, Fields was down on that low block, and it was going to be an easy jam for him. So it would be Singapore ball on the baseline. It's amazing to see what a good rim runner John Fields is. Every single time they get a defensive rebound, he beats the opposite big down the court. Bounce pass into Russell Lowe. He's immediately attacked by two defenders. Somebody's got to be open. Ung will roll to the basket. Off the glass, off the mark. Young rotates it to Alexander. His third triple, no good. Right into the hands of Fields. Comes out of the crowd. Right hand. Sean Fields, 12 to 17 from the field. And again, just outworking the opposite opposing bigs. He gets pumped up for every game, and no doubt about it, uh, he saw the matchup that he had with Egwu, and he takes it personal. It makes him so good. Show and go move from the foul line. That's number 26, Yex, off the mark. So again, one and out. Back come the slingers, Young on that right-hand side. This keeps up. Singapore will waltz into the... Oh, my goodness. Off balance, but right there to clean it up. Well, three players coalesce on Young, and that leaves Russell Lowe wide open. So he does what you do. Yeah, Nobody Russell around him puts it in. 70 to 35, Scotty. Great little start from Russell Lowe. 2-2 two two to start this fourth quarter. Four points and two rebounds. Good pass back outside. Long three off the mark again by Chin. Offensive board. Taking the ball to the basket. That one's good. That will be Eversley. And believe it or not, that's only his sixth point of the game, Scotty. Yeah, he's a quiet game today. Three of 11. And he's a very talented player. Cal Poly All-Star, MVP of the Big West Tournament. He, this guy can play. He's just had a tough go today. Loose ball on the floor. Picked up by Eversley. Shepard. Still Shepard. Accelerates. Fires the ball up. Gets his own rebound. Knocked away. Still Malaysia ball, but overcomes Alexander to steal it from number 26, Yek, and it'll be Singapore with the outlet. Hung, Fields, back outside it'll go. Singapore in no hurry. Young with the ball now, rotates the ball over to the opposite side. Dumps the pass into Alexander. Following it will be Russell Lowe. He camps out on the low post on the right side. Give off to Fields, and he does the rest. John Fields, and you were talking about that matchup, Chuck, and it has been completely, dramatically one-sided today. John Fields, 28 points, 14 rebounds. Egwu, 8.7 rebounds, 4 16 from the field. This has been a one-man show today for John Fields. Watch Alexander biding his time in Pops Fields. Again, Malaysia guilty of ball watching. Look, all eyes on Alexander. What's he going to do next? Instead, they get the ball off the field. There's nobody in the vicinity. Fields with a quick finish. 6.09 to go here on the timeout by 
Westport Malaysia Dragons. It's just one of these games, Scotty, and for some reason, Westport Malaysia Dragons bring out the best of the Singapore scene. It doesn't matter if it's home or away. Yeah, they look great today. He talked about uh, attacking inside early and often, and they have done that to the day today to the tune of 28 points for John Fields, 19 for Jaron Young, 16 for Xavier Alexander, and everything of all of those attacks have been at the rim. That's exactly what uh, Singapore did to Malaysia in the away part of this uh, Straits Cup on Friday. Walked away with 11 point win. In fact, it wasn't that close, but uh, you look at some of the fans. We said before, nice looking crowd today. Don't know if it's, they know it's the uh, Straits Cup game, but uh, so happy they could come out. Man, next week, uh, this place will be rocking with the San Miguel uh, a lot of Filipinas team walking uh, coming in. We know that there are a lot of Philippine workers here in one industry or another, and they are excellent at backing their team. So we can expect that this place will be sold out. That is for certain. Yeah, and if you're a Singapore basketball fan, you need to be here on March 3rd next Sunday. It's, this place is going to be bumping, just like Chuck said, uh, from both sides, from the Filipino perspective as well as the Singaporean. Remember, a lot of Filipinas in first place with that gaudy 16 and 3 record. Shepard again. Under six minutes ago, dumping it into Egwu. Egwu. Eversley for three. And they just cannot get these threes to drop. So Alexander with the ball. Checking in the game now for Singapore. Number eight it is Tay. Ball on the floor. Tay Ding Lu, in fact, number six. 24 year old, six feet tall, 183 pound guard. So great to see Singapore uh, getting some of their role players some time uh, on the court. Yeah, and he can really shoot the ball, Chuck. Look to him to, to get a couple catch and shoot opportunities here in this last 530. Shepard again, almost leaves the handle of it. Outside to Eversley, inside to Egwu. Double team immediately, back outside, wide open to Shepard from three. Yes! I believe that might be their first triple of the game. Yeah, one of 14 now from three, and there's 23 points for Shepard. He's been their lone offensive highlight tonight for Malaysia. Young in the lane, stops, nails the two from the free throw line. And Jared Young now with a 16 points. Check that, 21 points. Alexander with 16, of course, Fields with 28, the leading scorer of the game. Inside, Egwu, back outside, Eversley all alone from the three-point line, no good, man, oh, man. Outlet pass way down court, they'll hold it up. Alexander probing on that left-hand side. As Young on the right, Tay on the Extreme right will get the ball. There's a catch and shoot action you were talking about, Scotty. Off the mark there a little bit. Yeah, a little anxious, a little excited to shoot that one. Okay. Wide open look. Again, off the mark. The follow no good, but Shepard right there puts the ball on the floor, cleans it up, up and in off the glass. Nice job by Shepard. Good position, good box out. 32 point game. Four minutes to go, so Singapore looks like they're going to get out here with that win that they needed. Uh, something, unless something very dramatic happens. Alexander with another three. His third pull-up three of the game. Chuck. Xavier Alexander coming in with 22 points now. They'll let him go the basket, but he can't finish it off. Biggest lead of the game by, or tying the biggest lead of the game by Singapore. 35-point lead. They led 70 to 35, now 77 42. Alexander in between two defenders, and my goodness, the control he's got in the air, the hand time, the whole package, Scotty. Yeah, he's just so composed when he has the basketball. It takes his time, gets to the position that he wants to, and attacks, and is just under control at all times. We're down to three minutes. Egwu will turn and fire on the fadeaway. No good. Offensive rebound, no. Field snatches it away from Eversley. And Singapore with all the time in the world now. They will rise to 12 and 7. Got a tough match uh, on Wednesday night away at the Indonesia, who after a very slow start uh, have come on like gangbusters now. In fact, they're 10 and 10. 
good position for the playoffs. Off balance shot there. 24 second violation as they can't draw iron, so it'll be Malaysia ball. So Singapore will exit some of their imports as we look at that final three by Alexander. I don't know if he's hit three threes in a game this year. 79 to 42, Alexander will take a seat. And it will be all local guys. Jaron Young will take a seat. Fields will take a seat. So we'll finish it off with the uh, role players for Singapore. Uh, Well-deserved round of applause for Fields Young and Alexander. 28, 21, 21 points respectively today. Off the dribble inside. Well off the mark. Chasing it down is Tay. Tay gives it off to Delvin Go. Back in the hands of Lin now. Jun Lim, 21-year-old. Long three offering is no good, but also low there to pick it up. As we get below the two-minute mark, bounce pass into the interior to low. Drop step move. Late whistle. And say that Russell stepped on the out-of-bounds line. Checking into the game. See, it's number 18. That is a cheer you're hearing. Lavin Raj, the 18-year-old, 6'7", 306 pounds. Yeah, and he's a fan favorite here in Singapore, Chuck. With everybody getting some PT tonight for Singapore. Lav will be on Egwu. He'll obviously try and get him away from the basket and get the ball and go around him. See how long that takes. There's the switch. Raj. Back outside, Igwe will try a three-pointer, but uh, three-point violation. The job coming out there in the hard head from Love and Rodgers to move his feet and force the ball into the point guard. That was tremendously uh, efficient and good movement pattern by him. 24-second violation, not a three-second violation, obviously. Good ball rotation by the Slingers, looking for movement. Ball in the hands of Kelvin Lim. Kelvin Lim to Raj will fire away. Can't get it to fall. Offensive rebound, Delvin Go, no good. Ball on the floor, picked up by Singapore. Off to Lim, Lim, right hand. Off to the right side, Delvin Go, spin move. To the right back time, up and in, off the glass, wow. What a spin move coming back to his right hand. And you've talked about Delvin Go multiple times this year. The NBL MVP, what a season he's had for the Slingers. So below a minute to play, Singapore, a very satisfying win for them. Against their whipping boy this year, and uh, remember last time Westport Malaysia was here, Singapore on top of 101 to 47. Not a whole lot better tonight. The Singapore will rise to 12 and 7 in dangerous position now for the Westport Malaysia Dragons as they will fall to 6 and 12. Their losing streak will be extended to three games in the lane. Getting it off to Raj. Raj has his pocket pick. Lead pass. The finish there by Malaysia. So that will make it 81 to 44. Remember, Malaysia had 25 points at half, so you do the math, 19 points. That is the extent of their offense, Scotty, in the second half. And something's going to have to change for Malaysia if they are going to be a factor when it comes to the playoffs. So back to the drawing board for them, for Singapore. A very satisfying, if easy, victory for them before they have a challenge next week on Wednesday with the CLS Knights and on Sunday the big one against the San Miguel Ala Pilipinas team who are leading the league. So 81 to 44, Singapore walking away with it, Scotty. Yeah, and, and you said it really well, Chuck. Uh, John Fields talked about the beginning of the game. He said we need to win the games that we're supposed to win. And did he come to play and did the Slingers come to play today? 20, uh, John Fields, 28 points, 16 rebounds, 13 and 19 from the field. What can you say about him as a competitor and as a passionate basketball player that ignites and gets this crowd going here in Singapore? Yeah, back to back 28 games, in fact, for John Fields. He had 28 last game, too. Young finishes with 21, as does Alexander on the other side of the ball. Shepard with 25 and a losing cause. Igwu, eight, a disappointing six points for Eversley, and that was about it for Malaysia. Yek with a pair, Chang with a pair. Locals for Singapore, Ung hit that big three, and Delvin Go finishes with four. Russell Lowe, good effort for him with four points and three boards. So Singapore getting it done once more. They are 3-0 against uh, 
Westport Malaysian Dragons doing what you've got to do in your division. You need these games. Uh, more games you can salt away, the further up the standings you're going to go, and it's all about finishing in the first four. As we look at the Straits Cup, it will go to Singapore for the second time. They successfully defend it, so congratulations, Singapore Slingers, as they again take the Straits Cup three times in four years now they have won it, the one exception being the year that the Malaysian Dragons actually won the NBA or the ABL Finals. I don't want to say NBA. Uh, ABL Finals, that was three years ago. So congratulations to Singapore, beautiful cheerleaders there to hoist it up and just another piece of hardware as they do the award ceremony in the middle of the court, all smiles around for the Singapore Slinger, Scotty, and uh, smiling they should be. Not a lot, not often during the season you get a laugher like this, but you take them when you can get them. Yeah, and defensively they were great today, holding Malaysia to 22% from two, 5% from three, only 39 rebounds and 44 total points. The One. Slingers came out to compete and that was a really impressive thing today. And there they are, they're gonna hoist the, uh, the cup, the Singapore officials, the investors in the team and a proud moment for them. Straights Cup 2019 going to the Singapore Slingers, so. Hardware is hard to come by in any sport, so anytime you get a chance to get it, uh, you don't shy away from it. It is a team effort, and what makes it even sweeter is the Singapore Slingers. Everybody got some playing time, and it's great for the fans as they get to see some of their local boys who sometimes in the more close contest, they don't get to, say, uh, to see them on the playing court. But uh, real team effort today in Singapore have to be congratulated. And uh, for the Westport Malaysian Dragons, well, they're gonna have to figure out uh, what to do on offense, but that's another story for another time. But the final score here, 81-44, and the play of the day will go to that. There's a couple of uh, ones that we have in mind, so I'm anxious to see which one it is. John Fields, gonna get the rebound here, and he is going to go coast to coast, ladies and gentlemen, with the rock. And the finish with the dunk on the other side, much to the delight of the hometown crowd here again. Another look at it, Fields in the open court, beating one, two, three defenders on his journey, going coast to coast. So one more time, congratulations, John. High score in the game also, 28 points, double figures in boards as well. And that is the play of the game. So looking at the turnovers, well, the one blemish on the side of the Singapore Singers, 22 turnovers, 13 only for Malaysia. But look at the shooting, 34-69 for Singapore, right on 50%, 18 of 80, Scotty. And as you said before, not going to win many games shooting in the 20s. No, and that's a change just for Malaysia. And they have some talented guys and talented locals and imports, and, and, and that should change them if they continue to play together and get that continuation within their offense and team. Okay, as we have been talking about or touting this matchup throughout the games, we look at that Straits Cup and the Singapore Slingers next Sunday. What a matchup that's going to be. The Slingers against the Ala Pilipinas, the first place San Miguel Ala Pilipinas is 16 and 3. We hope you're here. That will be here, same time, same place, OCBC Arena. So for all the uh, production company and uh, for Scotty McKinnon, this is Chuck Schreiner. Final score again, Slingers 81, Dragons 44. So long from the OCBC Arena. We'll see you next Sunday.